Hey everybody, welcome to a short little midweek video. I know, right? Two videos in a week? Wait till Friday. Yeah, there's going to be three videos this week. I'm really excited for it. But this video, I wanted to talk about a product that was sent to me, which for a little behind the scenes, when I do some product videos, I try to only say yes to the ones where I'm going to use them on a regular basis. And recently I started using my iPad Pro with Sidecar or the shared universal control experience when I do my video editing. And Having it kind of awkwardly sitting off to the side of my desk worked for a little bit, but then Banks reached out to me and offered to send me their iPad stand. And I was kind of curious how this thing would work. And then I started using it and it's awesome. Now to be very clear before we start this video, Banks did send me this stand. However, the actual review of this stand is based on my experience and my experience alone. These are my thoughts with no input from the company themselves. The only compensation offered was commission compensation based on purchases that you all make when you go to the link down below and use Garrett Crespo 15 as the code to save 15%. That is it. Everything else about this video is exclusively my opinion on the product. So with that all out of the way, let's get started. Now, like I said, I've been using my iPad Pro mainly for color correction because it's the best display in my house for a little while now using Sidecar, which is where you can actually have your Mac Studio or whatever Mac you have tether to your iPad as a secondary display. I actually made a whole video talking about my mini Mac mini experiment. You can check it out over there. I paired a Mac mini to an iPad mini and tried to make it a usable experience. You can go check out how that goes. But the setup I was using with Sidecar and Universal Control wasn't exactly the most elegant because I would put the folio stand on my iPad and just sort of awkwardly prop it up off to the side of my screen and kind of just make sure I didn't bump it and knock it down off of the table. What this magnetic stand does is let me put it up alongside my screens with magnets and it holds the iPad at a level that is nice and easy to look at. It's right at eye level and it's adjustable too. So I can tip it towards me, tip it away from me. And if I just want to get rid of it, I can fold it flat or almost flat and put it away. My overall experience with this was pretty good. I will say the placement that I have it at isn't exactly the best for using one of the stand modes, which is to have it folded down for drawing. But I also don't do a whole lot of drawing, so it's not really a big deal. The magnets on it are extremely strong. That was one of my big concerns because I've used sort of cheap magnetic accessories for the iPad Pro before, and I've had them let the iPad go at a very inopportune time, which is how I got one of the bigger nicks on the aluminum on my iPad. But this is strong to the point where when I go to remove the iPad, it will actually adjust the tilt a bit forward because it doesn't want to let go of the iPad. I have to kind of hold the base with my hand and pull the iPad off from the top, which isn't a complaint. It's a good problem to have because it means the iPad's not going anywhere, but it is worth mentioning. In fact, the strength of these magnets is a very good thing because I was worried with me having a 12.9 inch iPad Pro that they were not going to be strong enough, but they were and I've had no issues. The overall design is pretty cool. It lets you rotate the iPad around so you can either have it in landscape or portrait mode. I actually kind of like that because if I wanted to move my iPad to the other side and have it more upright, or if I just didn't need it to be in landscape and I wanted it to be a little taller so I can push it closer to the screen, I could do that. The base of the stand is nice and weighty, which is again, good if you have a bigger iPad. They also do make models that'll hold the iPad mini six. They also make ones for the Air the 11 inch model and of course the 12 inch model. I don't know if the weights change between those because they sent me the biggest option, but I would assume that if they are anywhere close to the weight of this one, they'll hold those other iPads just fine. There are only really two complaints I have about this stand that I noticed during my use case, one of which is the weight of the hinges. The rotational hinge is fine and once I got everything adjusted to where I wanted it, I didn't really have to worry about the other hinges. I can just rotate it and again, the rotational point is fine, but the hinges are a bit too heavy, even for what I would think would be needed to hold up an iPad. I know they made them heavier to hold these bigger iPads, but they're heavy enough that if I'm making big adjustments, I almost feel like I need to just remove the iPad and then adjust the stand to wherever I need it, then put the iPad back for fear of maybe pressing too hard on the screen to adjust the stand with the iPad on it. Not the biggest deal, because again, once I got it into the position I wanted it, I can rotate it wherever I want it and not really have to make any adjustments to the other points. But during the initial setup and figuring out where it fit best, those heavier hinges did make it a bit more inconvenient during that initial phase of finding what spot worked best. 
The other thing is, again, not a huge deal, but something I would prefer is some more color options. The space gray they have is close enough to the space gray of the iPad that it looks good on the back, but I know people who have silver iPads or you know, if you're gonna be offering ones for the Air models or the Mini models, having maybe some matched colors for the other models, because you can get a pink iPad now, that would be kind of cool, making them sort of match kind of closely. Again, Space Gray is pretty darn close to the actual Space Gray of the iPad Pros, but maybe making a silver one or even, again, color matched close enough. I think that'd be kind of cool, especially for the people I know who want to implement their iPad into their workflow, but they also want their desk and overall setup to kind of have an aesthetic to it. I know somebody who bought a yellow iPad and their whole theme is yellow and they bought the new iPad base model in yellow and everything around it is yellow based. I'll see if I can get a picture of it. Uh, they take forever to text back, but we'll see. But yeah, just making some matched colors would be cool. But again, I have a space gray iPad, so it matches mine just fine. Like I've said in the past, when I have something sent to me, I try to make sure that what I say yes to is something that I will actually use on a regular basis. This includes things like the BenQ light that was sent to me, the Oveo stand that I use to keep my Mac Studio under my desk and out of the way, even things like the hubs with the internal SSD enclosures, all of those I still use regularly. And this bank stand is gonna be no different. It really does kind of elevate my Mac Studio and my iPad Pro workflow together to the next level. I know that kind of sounds cheesy, but previously I would love to use my iPad Pro more with universal control because it meant that I could just take the mouse send it over to the iPad screen without actually opening Sidecar, drag a file off the iPad and get it onto my Mac with no issues. But I would have it awkwardly stood up next to my screen with the over overall too expensive and really not great folio cover. <laughs> now it's actually on level with the screens and it just fits so much better. And again, the color grading that I do with my videos relies on very accurate screens. And while I do have two color calibrated HDR 500 Dell screens, they pale in comparison to my iPad Pro. And I've actually used my iPad Pro to color grade HDR footage for a client. They were wondering what kind of screen I used. And when I told them I used an iPad to color grade it, they were shocked. For me personally, I'm gonna keep using this thing. I think for anybody who's trying to implement an iPad of any kind in this case into your desktop workflow, I think it's great. Even your laptop workflow, you can kind of lower it so it's in line with your displays, have a little more of an extension on your screen. I think it's great. And if you're into drawing, laying it down and drawing it and having that support that really you don't get with the folio cover and definitely don't get with the keyboard case, this is really nice. It is $69.99 on their website that I linked down below, but you can also use that code, like I mentioned, Garrett Crespo 15 and save 15%. Again, if you want to actually try and implement an iPad of any kind, in this case, into a desktop or laptop workflow, I think it's worth it. Let me know what you all think in the comments. You can leave some comments down there. If you like this video, make sure to like it. If you really liked it or loved it, you can maybe subscribe. It's always nice. I got one more video to go this week. We got three going this week because I missed last week compensated for it by just streaming all week. And now we have three videos this week. So we're really overcompensating for missing one day, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Again, like, subscribe, comment the whole nine yards, and I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to be there and have a good one.